We go! Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is the one flyweight world Grand Prix champion and the number one flyweight contender, standing at five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, holding a mixed martial arts record of 30 wins and four losses. Training out of AMC Penetration and Evolve MMA, representing the United States of America. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! And introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, holding a mixed martial arts record of 20 wins and 3 losses. Training out of American Top Team and Constrictor Team. Representing Brazil! He is the reigning and defending undisputed one flyweight champion of the world, Adriano Moraes. And when the action begins, your referee in charge. Interessante esse evento, que é o primeiro evento do One, que é transmitido ao vivo pela Amazon Prime nos Estados Unidos. É um evento considerado meio histórico, que eles escolheram essa luta a dedo. Aqui vamos, o evento épico de entre Marias e Johnson, para o Flyweight Bill. O melhor evento Flyweight em um campeonato, contra o melhor Flyweight no UFC. Cinco. Five minute rounds inside the one circle here in Singapore. The bell and round number one. The desidratation, the desidratation of the player. The DJ immediately tried to get Adriano is looking big, 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 For the first time in his legendary career, a primeira luta dos dois, o Adriano Macaulay e o Dimitri, foi a primeira vez que o Dimitri tinha sido macaulay no ringue. Jab and just create some touches on DJ, just to figure out exactly where DJ is going and how he can stop him and pin him. This is a much more aggressive Adriano. O Adriano está bem agressivo nessa luta. One minute in, both fighters feeling each other out. The first of five rounds. Sweeping light kick there from Mighty Mouse. Marias testing the distance, doubling up on a jab. Nothing landed so far. DJ does a great job of cutting angles. You can see as Adriano starts moving to the left and right, DJ follows him rather than he tries to trap him and see cut off those angles. Yeah, I like what DJ's doing with his footwork here. I like how he's walking Adriano down. See how he just went laterally there. But he needs to keep continuing on that and get Adriano back against the fence. That's where he's going to do that to Adriano, that Adriano just has to play. DJ says the last is a boring fight. I get paid to provide excitement for a crowd like this. A little bit of taunting coming from the challenger as he's trying to close that distance. Right now, the only thing he can land is these kicks. He's having a hard time finding a home for those hands. He's in full guard here. Good catch to run him down for a takedown. Yeah, I think DJ taught him like that was just to get him to actually take some action. He's in full guard here. Good catch to run him down for a takedown. Yeah, I think DJ taught him like that was just to get him to actually take some action. He's in full guard here. Good catch to run him down for a takedown. Yeah, I think DJ taught him like that was just to get him to actually take some action. Of DJ, but DJ's got a really good guard. He's got an underrated ground game, especially when it comes to jiu-jitsu. He's been training a lot inside the gi. He's very technically sound right now. 
Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. But the thing is, that he's in a filial da American Top Team, lá na Florida, da aula de Jiu Jitsu, do Kimono, do Jiu Jitsu dele, é muito pior. Lá, já tá na minha guarda. The DJ can be in the match. Yeah, especially right now in half guard. Look how Adriano has him flattened out. He's got the underhook on DJ's right side. He's keeping his back flat against the mat. DJ's got to start moving. A lot of pressure coming from the champion right now. DJ has said his style is certainly not my favorite. Doesn't like it at all. Again, kind of called it a boring type of style. And last time, DJ had to go try to create it. And he got caught, so you wonder if it's the same approach or no. A little bit different. No, 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 Brent. This is a much more aggressive Adriano. He wasn't on the back foot. He wasn't trying to counter strike. He was pushing the action. He was the one that took that taunting a little bit more seriously. He caught the leg, took him down, and now we're here. Now he's doing damage. Look at DJ spinning for an arm bar. Adriano wise to a high-level black belt and BJJ himself. DJ was spinning for the arm bar, but he was also trying to work for the leg there, and now Adriano's sitting back and he's got his hand trapped. Yeah, but he's able to freeze. With possibly an inverted triangle here if he can get his leg free, but I don't think so. Adriano's wise to it. I can see Adriano starting to soften him up with the ground and pound with the elbows. I think Adriano's leaking. I think DJ actually landed an elbow there on the backside. Absolutely did. Blood coming from the champion, Adriano Marias. This is improved jiu-jitsu coming from the challenger. He's got a very active guard. He's able to keep his feet in front of Adriano so that Adriano can't get past the legs. That's what he's, Adriano's trying to do. He's trying to pass the guard of DJ. And DJ's doing a great job of maintaining his legs. Adriano's trying to pass the guard of Adriano. 25 seconds to go in round one in this flyweight world title match. Adriano Marias versus Adriano Marias. Adriano Marias versus Adriano Marias. This is the main event of the night. This is the main event of the night. Between the champion Marias and Timmy Trace. Mighty Mouse Johnson waiting on the left of the body of Marias. Mighty Mouse still has been Marias trying to find an opening here. And I love the way that DJ's working from the bottom here. I'd say he's actually scoring better in this round because he's actually accumulated some damage from the bottom side. Yeah, he's mixing things together. Like we said on the walk, he's adding strikes from the bottom position and he's maintaining his high work rate on the bottom. But now, Adriano steps over into quarter mount. Close. Nice way to end the round. That's a good look for the champion right there, Brent. And there's Marias still bleeding from above that left eye. Here in Singapore, in the main event, what a night it has been on this historic night, this partnership between one championship and Prime Video. Play with the hands, make sure everybody's doing, don't stay in the center, okay? Start moving to the outside of the shoulder. He's switching the southpaw, and it's orthodox, okay? And when he switches, move to the outside, okay? Here's the elbow that threw the cut, Rich. Yeah, you can see he's right behind his leg there, he actually used the hamstring and the hand pulled him in. That cut landed, and you can see that the cut is above the eye, which is the worst place to have a cut placed because that's going to come down and actually line up in the eye. Not only that, but even if the blood isn't getting in the eye, the actual skin itself can hang down into the eye. Look at that cut right there. 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 Quickly. You know what this is going to do? It's going to put a little bit more urgency into Adriano's game. Look for him to really start to push the action. Adriano, that cut, the match can't get stopped. Really, almost equal. Marias bloody compelled in round number two of five. Fly weight world title champion Adriano Marias. Adriano Marias versus 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 Adriano Marias. What an atmosphere, a raucous crowd, at Singapore a Indoor Stadium. Adriano looking to spin, possibly there with a back kick, it's widening his stance. He says he wants to use kind of a karate-based stance to combat DJ's sort of Muay Thai-based stance. Early stages, round two, swing wildly as DJ. Adriano is pushing the action though, but DJ's right in his face, trying to put those hands together. And he's also mixing the kicks well, too. Adriano looking to walk him down, outside leg kick there. From Marias, high kick from DJ. Oh, DJ's wobble from Marias, he is wobbling up against the fence. Big knee on the inside, and a right body kick from Marias. DJ's got the legs, going for the double as DJ. Can he get it? Sprawling nicely there is Marias. Can he get it? Sprawling nicely there is Marias. Great team, the defense from the champ. Here come the ground and knees from the champ. The right knee. After the left, Marias looking to wind up under the left knee. He doubles it up there. This is how the last one ended. Can he do it again? Exact same position that we were in in the first match here. 
He just, oh, here he goes. Look at that. Oh, he went for a submission. He went for a choke. Oh. And DJ found his moment to pop back up. DJ back to his feet. 325 remaining in round number two. two. DJ's got double underhooks. So really good position. Oh, he catches the leg. He's making a little With the left leg. With the left leg. He's back against the wall, Brent. Mariah's timing the catch of that knee perfectly. Look at DJ go for a triangle. Yeah, he's got the he's got his uh, right leg on the inside of the the hamstring there. He needs so. to get that leg out from in between Adriano's legs and lock him together. Oh, nice. he's the champion. champion looking to load up there, but was unable to connect. Now he tries a left elbow. Good defense, so as you mentioned, by DJ on his back. Yeah, he's got a really good guard now. I'm really impressed with the improvements he's made from the bottom position. But Adriano is a slick guard passer. He's going to try to step over the legs, see if he can work himself into a better position. But this is a good position for Adriano. He's got good, heavy ground and pound. Look at the way he's driving the shoulder into the chin of Adriano with, or with DJ Rather. DJ tried a big bridge, tried to explode out of it, but Adriano was able to maintain position and stay on top. Midway here in round number two. Marias on top, firing a, a couple of rights at the head of DJ. I love the way the DJ's working between the, the kind of half guard, his butterfly guard, but it just shows how heavy Adriano is on top of him with his top side pressure because he's not getting the lift he needs for a reversal or an elevator. Heavy elbow there from the champ, Marias. Yeah, aggressive guard passing here from the champion, trying to work his way. He's trying to push down the thigh, maybe slide his leg out from in between the legs here of DJ. But DJ's kind of got that figure four right there keeping. Each round in what's called a lockdown position. He chose to let that go. He just has one leg ring A minute and a half in round two. Tem que passar. Tem que ground and pound, né? Flyweight World Championship here in Singapore. Marias unloading most of the damage so far in this fight. This the rematch from 16 months ago when DJ was knocked out by Marias. See what DJ was setting up for the elbow right there. Marias decided to come over with one on, of his own over the top. And DJ slipped that elbow simultaneously. Man, the cut man did a great job with that cut. Yeah. He's not leaking at all right now. And he's able to maintain the position, do damage, and really look aggressive. DJ went for another arm bar. Adriano saw it coming, slid out of the way, and maintained that position. Can the fight scored in total five, five minute rounds. The scheduled distance. DJ goes to butterfly guard, see if he can elevate. Tá Adrian tries to pass over. DJ's doing a beautiful job of maintaining his guard. Pra, pra fazer cinco lutas, aí, né? E ataca muito por baixo do Adrian. muito por baixo do Adrian. Ele muito por baixo do Adrian. Ele tem muito por baixo do Adrian. Ele tem muito por baixo do Adrian. Ele tem muito por baixo do I'd like to see him get back to those hands, get back to those leg combinations that he was throwing. Mighty Mouse, content to be on his back. Marias attacks again to the ground. And that's it for round two. What do you see so far, Rich? Marias heard that 10 second call come in right there at the end of the round and tried to make something happen at the end, but I like the way the DJ's working right there. He's just got to make sure that he's not lazy and he gets his head offline with those kicks. He's got to keep in mind how right long Adriano is. That head kick wobbled him. I don't know, Rich. I thought he kind of passed guard there for a bit. He was in side control momentarily right into the final bell landed, but these right there, those knees to the head did a lot of damage to the challenger. Absolutely, as well as that head kick. Well, look at that catch. That was beautifully timed. He waited for the knee to come up, came underneath the leg, drove it to his left to put him down. And that's where the match pretty much remained for the remainder of that Different round. Different game plan here in the yes. rematch for Marias, as yes. you touched on. Looks like Adriano is becoming the go-getter. He's trying to attack. He's trying to hunt down the challenger. Adriano is very intimidating. Look at DJ's face. Look at Adriano's face. He looks comfortable. Mighty Mouse does. He looks comfortable. Mighty Mouse does. He looks comfortable. Mighty Mouse does. He looks comfortable. Body kick from Johnson. Os dois primeiros rounds para Adriano. Oh, 
close hit with a left hook. Unable to damage Marias with that. Measuring the distance outside leg kick from Mighty Mouse. Like how on the feet, it's going to be an exchange. It's not going to be an exchange. Try to approach, try to get some much back to his legs. Are really doing good work. He's utilized the leg kicks well. Just to score points. He's going to be an exchange. 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 Straight left there, following up the kick to the body from DJ. There's a left hook. Landed that one. Nice mixing here of the arsenal of Demetrius Johnson. Adrian tried for a big right hand, but look at the movement of DJ. He's never in the same place. He's always shifting. He's always adjusting, keeping his head off of the center line. But Adriano gets one touch and he can put you down. Think about this. Adriano is much bigger than DJ, and DJ spent the bulk of the first two rounds on the ground. This, this is a testament to his gas tank and the way he conditions. DJ did spend a portion of his camp out there in Arizona for the first time. He traveled away from his home in Washington to get new looks, get new training partners. And we're seeing a different DJ, but we're also seeing a different Adriano in this rematch. in the flyweight division in one championship. See the feints that DJ yeah. throwing. He's now got Adriano guessing. Yeah, he's getting a reaction He cuts those angles, right? He doesn't just follow Adriano around. He's trying to trap him. He's trying to pin him down. Walking him down here. And we saw the first real legit jab from DJ Lance right there. Oh, oh, DJ Lance is controlling the distance. Nice one-two right there. Another knee from DJ. Another knee from DJ. DJ touches him with those hands, especially with that right jab, the southpaw position. You're right, DJ cutting off those ankle, uh, angles, trying to walk him down here. And now back to the center of the one circle. When he gets a shot, man, he puts those hand combinations together, just those little stings. Gives DJ a little bit of uh, information to download. Exactly how he's going to react to the stack. He did it. DJ is walking him down. He's really comfortable. As long as he's careful with his position, he doesn't allow himself to get caught. He's moving in the right direction right now. DJ controlling the distance here in round three with 145 remaining. DJ with a right. See, he's got to be careful with that. He's now circled out to his left and he followed him into it. He's going to keep cutting those angles off. Overhand right from Demetrius Johnson. Nice one-two combo there from Rice. Clashing with the legs. Good check there from the champion. A lot of feints. That's what Adrian needs to do. I'd like to see him go back to the jab, too. He's got that range advantage. He's got that reach. He's utilizing it. A minute to go here in round three. DJ's coming against the fence. Adrian doing a good job. Firing knees to the body as DJ. I don't like the way that DJ hurt that clutch. I'd like to see him get his head off the line a bit. Leading his head a little bit from stage center for your life. Spinning back elbow to get the bottom of it by Marias. Oh, he's got him in the back of the head. Oh, he's got him in the back of the head. They're throwing though less than 30 seconds. Mitch, at this point in the match, would you tell Adriano if you were his coach to look for the takedown? I want to see Adriano be a little bit more aggressive. I want to see him start to put combinations together. You know, we might have the opportunity to try to take a look at the show. He's only giving DJ the stance that's right. He's not going to have to take it down. He's not going to have to take it down. He's not going to have to take it down. He's not going to have to take it down. The end of round number three. Hold on.
Tá ok. Ó, entrou bem a mão. Você vê aí que o Adriano fez aquele low leg kick, mas ele pagou quando o DJ entrou com aquele lado de lado também. Bom, nice touch right there from DJ. O Adriano foi muito bom. Ele 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 foi muito bom. DJ looks comfortable here, heading in around. Yeah, he's always had a tremendous gas tank. Always can push a high pace, but for this camp, he's sort of laid off. The strength and conditioning, and he's got to be able to fill him in. Inside his game, and we're seeing that he's always had the gas tank. He always go a hard five. But we're seeing new elements to DJ's game here today. Marias has emulated and looked up to DJ his entire career, studied every single thing he has done, and then he knocked him out. First time ever DJ has been knocked out. And here tonight, Johnson looking to avenge that. Oh, wow. Round four of five. Nice little stance change. As he walks forward into the clinch. Good turnaround. Now he's pressing the champion up against the wall. Is he going to change levels or is he going to choose to work, do work here? Yeah, a, this is a, a different strategy in this round. He's not, he didn't work the combination. He wanted to take that. He's going to sit on the walk. He's got to mix things together, right? He's got to blend the takedown together. He's got to play on the inside range and outside. And DJ is doing all of that right now. He's going to lay a trap, but he's still doing the problem. That DJ is presenting. Well, you look at, look at what DJ's going. It looks like he's just kind of walking forward with that tie style, looking for some sort of clinch. I wonder if this is a, a different strategy in this round, or if he's doing this momentarily to possibly throw Adriano off, looking for those combinations later in the round. But he stings Adriano with those knees. That's what he caught him with a little bit in the first time. You could see the way that Adriano dropped his hands in the first match because of one of those knees. I've worked with DJ inside the clinch. It is not a good feeling to get hit with one of those body shots. Let me tell you that, Miss Franklin. Three and a half to go here in round four. See, look at those, those little knees right there. Boom, pepper in the legs, going up to the body. Going to the legs, going to the body. Another knee, left knee from DJ. Mixing it up here, as you mentioned, to the body of Marias trying to tenderize. Those little knees, man, they don't look like much, but they hit you in between your breath pattern. Boom, we can suck your air out. You can do a lot of damage. You know, when you're watching this at home, it doesn't look like so much is happening in the clinch there, but this is all part of the strategy of the standard for the last time. Knees to the legs from DJ. We saw it the last time in the clinch to the body, and now he's working the upper thighs here of Marias. Let's bring in. Michael Chavello, what are you seeing differently from the first matchup to this one? Oh, this is a much more coherent day track. This is the day track we promised he'd save. He's not going to stall. He said, I'm going to stall. I'm going to run around. He's going to go after him. Hey, I'm going to go after him. I'm going to go after him. This is a great contest, guys. You bring in Michael Chavello, and the excitement is going to amp up. Two minutes to go in round four of five. Oh, it's ruined. Straight up the middle with a beautifully timed elbow, DJ showing his beard. He right back with it. He's going to do a good job of getting his head off line in these combinations right now. DJ hasn't found a home for that overhand right. I do have to say, fellas, I'm surprised this one hasn't gone to ground as much as I thought it would. It's been mostly a stand-up battle. It's been an awesome stand-up battle. I won't trade it, but I'm surprised it hasn't gone to ground more. Yeah, we saw a little bit of that in the first and second, but now both athletes are choosing to keep this thing on the feet, not really threatening a lot of the takedowns. Inside the clinch, they're choosing to do damage rather than change levels. All right, so the body kick there. DJ walking him down again. I like that uppercut. That's the one that got it done last time. Yeah, he's waiting for DJ to make that big movement coming in to overcommit. Setting traps, Marias. DJ's making his slightly smaller move. Oh, DJ! Oh, DJ! DJ's just made a statement. DJ just made a statement. Demetrius Johnson gets revenge here tonight on Adriano Marias.
this. He doesn't just get revenge, he gets revenge the same way. The same exact way that Mariah Smith is taking the first match. Lord of mercy. Wow. Wow. Like I said, he's making small movements. He makes a giant movement in his thumb match. But being great in the like the like scared, very scared to be like the edge. You are the answer that I'm a little bit of a good round, so for a scene, I prefer Ben. Has got his world title in one championship. campeão. This match was presented to you by Toomey. And now to present the belt for this match, we have the Chao chairman Chao and CEO Lee, of One Championship, Lawrence. Mr. Chatri Sityotal. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after mim, three pra, minutes pra and 50 seconds esses, in esses the fourth round for your winner by way of knockout! And... New Undisputed One Lightweight Champion of the World Dimitrios Johnson Bom, pelo jeito a gente vai ter a trilogia agora, né? Tá um a um, vamos ter que... Ele vai ter que fazer a mesma cordialidade que o Adriano fez com ele, ele vai ter que fazer com o Adriano. Seria mais justo, né? Avengers, the only knockout of his career. Thank you.